the lifeblood of growth and innovation in a business is insights. Customer insights, market insights, product insights. Insights can become very powerful engines for growth. But the question that arises is, where do insights come from? What are the potential sources of insight? So here are a few ways to think about where you should look for insights. One very good source of insight is an anomaly. An anomaly is some data that doesn't make sense in your market. Some numbers that don't add up that are pointing to something that you want to investigate deeper. For example, when Kodak looked at the market for digital cameras 20 years ago, they found that women were not using digital cameras as frequently as men were. And they, this was an anomaly. As they dug deeper, they found the reason was that cameras were very difficult to use, that the batteries would, would always be dead when they wanted to use the camera. And then when they, even if they took a photograph, they wouldn't know how to take that picture and get it into the printer or to the internet. So women had a real problem with the ease of use of digital cameras. That led Kodak to the insight that they could greatly expand the market by creating their new product, which was the easy share system. So anomalies. Another example of a source of insight is confluences. Confluences are intersection of trends. So when one trend inserts, intersects another trend, there's an opportunity hiding in there somewhere. For example, if you look at healthcare, the rising cost of healthcare and healthcare cost containment is one trend, and the aging population is another trend. And the third trend is technology and wireless. So, so if you look at the intersection of these trends, there's an interesting set of insights around the use of wireless technology for healthcare monitoring and cost containment. So confluences are another way to think about opportunities. Orthodoxies is another place to look for up insights. Orthodoxy is questioning a belief that is taken for granted in the industry. For example, why do we check out at noon from a hotel? Uh, a company called Capella Resorts has questioned this by creating a 24-hour check-in, 24-hour check-out process by running laundry and housekeeping on a 24-hour shift by having quiet vacuum cleaners and soundproof rooms. Another source of insight is voyages. Voyages is actually going out and, exp and seeing how real customers actually use your products and how they actually behave. It's really sort of studying, getting out of the building. Analogies is another source of insight where you take an idea that's been widely applicable in one industry or one context and apply it to your context. Another source of insight is extremities. Extremities is talking to the weird customers that you have. It's not the mainstream people. It's the people who never used your product, never done business with you, or it's the people who are extreme users of your product. So these are some examples of sources of insights or channels for insight. And I think a company will be well served if it really broadens its portfolio of tools for generating insights, because that's the starting point for driving growth initiatives.